Hi, I'm Mel and... I'm Mike and we are the Church Wardens. We but, are. Um, so Mel, you've been doing this for three years now? I have. Yeah, and this is my first year. I've just taken over from uh, Dave Ferguson. So first of all, a big shout out to Dave. Thank you very much indeed, Dave, uh, for the years that you've served as Church Warden. And thank you also for offering to stay on the Finance Committee. We really appreciate all the work that you've done. We do. Um, so Mel, tell me a little bit about what uh, Church Wardens do, please. Well, as Church Wardens, we are officers of the Bishop and legally speaking, we are the senior representatives of the parishioners or the congregation. So I know our, some of our duties are described in law and those include looking after the church building and also making sure we can meet our financial obligations. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, what, what does all this actually look like in practice? Um, well, so it's very much a collaborative role. Um, we support the many talented people um, who work at St Mark's, both paid and voluntary. And most importantly, we support Mike um, with the maintenance, mission and management of the church. Yeah, not me, Mike Rash. Mike Rash, Mike Rash good Rash, point. The, the vicar, yeah. And we meet with Mike sort of uh, once a week for prayer and to talk about mm -hmm. um, what the, whatever he wants to talk about, to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know, a practical example around the building might be that we're currently in a sort of review of how we heat the building up. Yep, yep. Um, and spiritually, it's just important that we are praying together um, and supporting each other. So when you retired, um, you got much more involved in church life. And has that given you any insight into the role of a church warden? <laughs> um, a bit. Um, <laughs> yeah, I suppose serving on the PCC and also uh, on the committee that looks after the fabric of the building has given me a, a, a bit of insight. But, uh, but yeah, so uh, in terms of skills, Mel... Um, anybody, I think, can put themselves forward as a church warden. Yeah. Um, but you, I mean, you're a, you're a nurse, so I mean, can you give us some insight about how your skills from your job have will help or have helped you in the in this role? Um, they've helped loads. Um, as a nurse, we're involved in talking to people from all sorts of different walks of life, um, and obviously, it's a pretty pastoral role. Um, which has really helped, I think, um, grow uh, my skills as a church warden. And I've learnt lots as a church warden that I've taken back into my nursing career. Um, and Mike, you're a retired optician, so will those skills help you in this role? <laughs> um, who knows? <laughs> um, I, yeah, I've noticed about you, Mel, you, you're a very people-centred person. I suppose my skill sets are, I mean, I'm an optician. I had practices in Leeds and Manchester, Yorkshire and Lancashire. Um, and half my time was spent in a consulting room and half the time was running a business. So a lot of my skill sets that I think I'll bring to this role are to do with organisation, uh, to do organisational skills, if you like. But I think fundamentally, as a church warden, it's important to obviously love Jesus um, and to want to play a role in the mission and the development of St Mark's, which... Um, I think with our different skill sets, we're going to be able to do really well. Yeah, we're a church, not a business. And so, you know, we're, we're led by God through prayer. Amen. So Jesus' focus is, is central to, it, to all of it. So we're here to do life with you here at St Mark's through the highs and the lows. Um, so do feel free to come and find us and have a chat. We'd love to hear from you.